Poker, the world's most popular card game. And the good news is, it just got better. Playing online poker is the latest and most exciting way to join the world of poker. But if you want to be a shark, you need to learn how to swim. Now it's been said in poker that if after the first 20 minutes you don't know who the sucker is, well, that's you. And I'm here to make sure that that doesn't happen. Poker is easy to learn, and you can master your game through lots and lots of practice. Firstly, know your cards. A deuce, or two, is the lowest, and then a three, four, and so on up through 10, jack, queen, king, and an ace is the highest. In poker, all suits, whether spades, clubs, hearts or diamonds are equal. Now you won't win anything without knowing your hand rankings. Now let's start with the worst hand. The worst hand in poker is when all you've got is a single high card. But hopefully with my help, well that won't happen too often. The next best hand is a pair, two cards of the same number. The higher the number, the better the pair. Now better than a pair is, well you guessed it, two pairs like this. And what could be better than two pairs? Three of a kind, of course. Now pay attention. This is where it gets a little trickier. Here you have a straight. A straight is five consecutive cards in a row. Now there are three important things to remember with straights. One, they don't have to be the same suit. Two, an ace can be low or high, and three, the best straight is ace, king, queen, jack, ten. Now we're getting serious. The next hand that beats a straight is a flush. That's five cards of the same suit. Any cards will do. They don't have to be in order. Now remember, the best possible flush should have an ace. Next up is a full house. That's three of a kind and a pair. Well, that's not easy to get unless you know what you're doing. There's only three hands that will beat a full house. First up is four of a kind. Well, that needs no explaining. Now on to the two best hands in poker. We've seen the straight and the flush. We'll put them together and you get a straight flush. That's five consecutive cards of the same suit. And the best straight flush you could have is using the highest cards possible. That's ace, king, queen, jack, and 10. This, my friends, is known as the Royal Flush, and nothing in the game will beat it. You've got a Royal Flush, and you're walking home with the money. Woo! Now let's go through that one more time. High card, a pair, two pairs, three of a kind, a straight, a flush, a full house, four of a kind, a straight flush, and the best of the best of the best, a royal flush. Practice makes perfect in lots of things, and it certainly helps in poker. You can start playing online today at paradisepoker.com and test yourself in free games against real players from all over the world. When you feel ready, you can play for cash, also against real players. The online game has changed the world of poker. Internet players have won millions of dollars in tournament prizes. And for the last two years, online qualifiers of the World Series of Poker turned small entry fees into millions of dollars in Vegas. So now you know what you need to get. I'll show you how to get it. If you're playing for money, chances are you're playing Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em is the most popular form of poker and played in most of the pro tours worldwide. And the rules are very simple. First, you need to understand the betting positions at the table. The best position is called the dealer. You're in the dealer spot if there's a white disc in front of you called the button. To the left of the dealer is the small blind. This player must post a bet before any cards are dealt. 
The position left of the small blind is called the big blind, and they also have to post a bet which will be double the small blind. The position to the left of the big blind is called under the gun, as they have to make the first betting decision once the cards are dealt. After every hand, the button moves to the next player in a clockwise motion. Now you get your draw, two cards face down. These are your hole or pocket cards, and you're the only one who knows what they are. There are five more cards to come, but they're known as the community cards. They will go face up in the middle of the table and can be used by everyone, but we'll get to that in a minute. You now have a round of betting with action starting with the player under the gun. Each player can call, match the previous bet, raise, bet at least double the previous bet, or fold. Remember, each player must at least match the bet that has been made previously, or fold. Now comes the exciting bit, the flop. These are three cards placed in the center of the table face up. Any of the cards in the middle of the table can be used by any player to make their best five card poker hand. A second round of betting follows, just like before. Now we have the turn or fourth street. This is a fourth card placed face up in the middle of the table. Again, this is followed by a third round of betting. Finally, the big one. The last card to be revealed is the river or fifth street. This is the last card to be handed out and is again placed face up in the middle of the table. This is followed by a final round of betting. Now comes the showdown, where any player who is not folded by now must try and make the best five card hand using the seven cards available. The five on the table and the two in their hand. Any player still in reveal their whole cards and the player with the best hand wins all the money, known as the pot. Now let's go through that one more time. One player is on the dealer spot and the two players to his left must post blinds or forced bets. These provide betting action in every hand. Everyone is dealt their two whole cards face down. Each player can call, raise, or fold, depending on the strength of their hand. You get the flop, more betting. The turn, bet again. And the river, final bets. Finally, you have the showdown, and any player left in reveals their cards. So that's all you need to get started in poker. And how good you get is up to you. There's a lot to play for, so head for the tables. And I'll see you in paradise.